Okay, guys. So uh, I have this a uh, uh, BIC T4 N T4M. Uh, I have the T3 as I showed you before in my uh, uh, audio review. Uh, I'm gonna change the bells on this. This is the this is a serious uh, uh, pain in the butt to change the bells on these on this uh, deck. I already removed the cover. You, you can see the cover over there. That's like a wooden cover over here. Uh, you see on the on the T3M. You don't have this piece of metal right here, you see, in the middle. It has a little piece of metal, you cannot see it because, let me see if I can... Yeah, that one right there in the middle, you know, so uh, I just, I pretty much, uh, and I have more space over here, so I was able to kind of uh, um, loosen up some screws over here on the T3M and, this, and then uh, wiggle my, my belts in there, but on this one I can because I have this piece of metal like I show you. Uh, the one on the top, you see, this one's pretty easy to change because there's nothing that they there's you have so, enough space right here on the over here and right here too. You can see, so this is gonna be a major, major a uh, pain in the butt. Uh, I have an idea what I'm gonna do thanks to an audio karma, a uh, uh, audio karma, a uh, a member you know that did it and I have an idea what I'm gonna do so first of all I'm gonna uh, remove these knobs right here on the front you just pull them out you see just pull them out and then I already removed the the front is just a uh, two little screws in the front like this you just a uh, counterclockwise you remove them. I'm gonna have to remove this too you see these two right here need to come out too and then then you just remove the face and then uh, uh, I'm gonna uh, I already loosened up this one and one, two, and three on the top, and then a uh, three at the bottom, you know. So, okay, and then I got I ordered belts. Uh, I got belts from Germany, you see. Yes, uh, about a uh, 20, 20, 90 euros, about 25 dollars, you know. Uh, I got brand new belts uh, for the uh, BIC, uh, it has three belts. So, uh, I know, uh, I know this one goes right here, but I don't know where the third one goes. Because I don't, I don't even see a, on the T on the on the T three the the third belt the small belt is for the counter you know, but this one's digital a, it has a, a a digital counter so I don't know how how it works we're gonna see we're gonna open it up it's gonna be a major major hopefully I'll be able to put it back together it looks like it's gonna be rough though okay okay so look I ordered a belt from Germany a, it only took me a exactly a week since I ordered this belt you know I was out of the country I was in Europe and they and, and they I ordered my my belt and look a, a, in a week I, ha, I had I have them over here you know that's why you have to you, you look at this a, a Mars communication you're real real pain in the butt to get belts I don't know I don't care how good your belts are but if you don't deliver them it's like it's like by it's like having no belts you know so uh, yeah, I only order. I, I don't even order from Mars Communication anymore. I only order from from different vendors in the United States or a, a, or in, in Europe. You know. All right. Okay. Here we go. So we're gonna start the process. So just to show you, just pretty much just pull them out like this. You see, just pull out, pull them out. You see, I always like to get them all the way to zero. Then we wanna put them back. You know, I know where I am. So. Just pull them out like this. It's very easy. And this is just, you just turn counterclockwise and you loosen this up. You see, this panels right here. You see, very easy. Right here, make sure I don't lose anything. I want to separate everything. So I have a, a hard time putting them back. You know? So this is comes out. I'm gonna clean this really well. Okay, now I'm gonna loosen up this, the, remove the, the, the front plate, okay? All right, guys. Okay, guys, so uh, I got it uh, uh, upside down. So look, uh, I removed uh, one, two, three screws at the bottom, you see? And now the, the plate, face plate comes out, you can see. Sorry, I only have one hand. Two hands, <laughs> okay, so you see? Uh, the next step, uh, I'm gonna wash this really well, you know. Wash this with soap. So you have a nice, clear, clean uh, plate, you know. Okay. 
All right, so let's see what's the next step. I think the next step is to remove this uh, this front plate from here. So one, two, three. Three look like a three and then two at the top to remove this plate. Okay, and then we're gonna have to get the mechanism. Yeah, it's gonna be gonna be a lot of a lot of work, guys. Uh, I even heard that you have to, I have to remove this this parts right here. See these two screws on the spots, eh? Uh, and then remove the uh, the bottom plate too. All right, next step. The next step, I'm gonna remove this uh, uh, the the plate, the front a uh, the control a uh, plate, plastic plate. It's a one. Two uh, and then and then three, three at the bottom. One, two, and three. You can see. Okay, let me do that now. Okay, so you see this a uh, front uh, plate comes out like this. A uh, uh, so I just uh, kind of uh, move it out of the way, you know. So okay, I just move it out of the way, and I'm gonna put it over here too. And then I don't know why he told me to remove this plate, but we'll see. We're gonna Okay now I'm gonna he say to remove this uh, one, two, a uh, three, four screws that hold the, the the mechanism in place in the front, okay? So I'm gonna do that right now. Okay, so a uh, I removed the four screws from the front. I place them over here, they're kinda short so and then I'm gonna remove the plates, uh, the plate from the from the bottom. I'm gonna have to turn the the deck upside down now. Okay. Okay. So I'm gonna remove uh, this one, you see, and then this one right here, and then the ones that they with the legs, you know, the four with the legs, and so six total. You know, it doesn't look like I need to remove this because it looks like there's a little space of gap, you know, right there. Yeah. This one I'm gonna have to remove it too, I think. So one, two, three, three, and then the uh, the, the fourth was about seven. Oh, so this one right here too has to be so one, two, three, four, and then the other four. So it's a eight total uh, screws that I have to remove. Okay, guys, I just discovered. You see, uh, this I don't have to remove this uh, the legs on the on the right side of the front of the deck so only the ones on the on the left side the ones that are on the on the cassette uh, close to the cassette mechanism you see only these two need to come out in order for me to remove this plate so and i have to remove this these two legs over here and bingo it comes out you know look i'm gonna put this on the side right here I already have the legs over there, so so this is pretty much now we're gonna see what's the next step. Uh, I can see the cassette mechanism over here now. We'll see what's the next step in order to remove this uh, this thing from here. Okay, I wonder if I have to remove this too. We'll see. We're gonna see what's the next step. Okay, let me let me analyze it. Look like the next uh, next step is gonna be to a uh, to uh, remove this these two screws from the pot. A uh, right here, these two you can see, and then a uh, and then a uh, the front, you know, one, two, three, four, a uh, four, two, a. Uh, so I have more uh, movement on these wires right here. You can see, yeah, very tight, very restricted movement there. You know? Okay, so that's what we're gonna do now. Next, so one, two screws, and then four screws on the on the front. I'm gonna start putting uh, these two screws right here and the ones in the front. I'm gonna start putting them on a different a uh, different a uh, area so I, I don't confuse them, you know, because then uh, you start putting the long the wrong screws on the different spots. I want to make sure everything fits right. I want to put it back. All right. Okay. Look like next step is gonna be to remove this plate from here. You see, so one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, there's another one here, but it looked like it wasn't placed, so I don't know if that's the way it works. So, so five screws I have to remove so this plate can come out that way, you see? So that's what we're gonna do right now, next step. Remove this plate. So I remove the screws, and you see this a, uh, this a, uh, a uh, plate. Ooh, ooh, wow. I gotta be careful, I got all this, uh, the bottoms, I gotta pick them be careful when you remove this plate from here because uh, these things fall you know so you don't want to 
you don't want to lose them uh, the, the buttons you know so I'm gonna put this over here so like this so they don't fall they don't rock in, in, anywhere and I'm gonna put this plate over here too so I know it's together so yeah now I'll be able to you see once I remove the mechanism I'll be able to to move the mechanism forward more easily uh, okay the next step is gonna be to a uh, remove a uh, these two screws right here one two one two in the back you see that's what's holding this uh, this board in place so I need to loosen that up so I can have more space to to move the mechanism backwards okay so far I've been working for a uh, let me see I started at the at a uh, four a uh, four thirty four four thirty five more or less uh, so I've been doing it for about thirty one minutes so you see uh, yeah, it's, it's tedious but uh, uh, that's why you ha I had to make a video and and, and take pictures because uh, it, it's kind of hard to sometimes to remember all these little details this is the hottest one you know? uh, I've, I've done the uh, I've done the JVC TDB 11 and it's so easy to change the belt. I, a Nakamichi a cassette deck 1 and cassette deck 1.5 is extremely easy. The Onkyo T, TA a 2050A, my goodness, I know it's very, very easy. You know, a, my Sony TCKA 1ESA too, extremely easy. Yeah, this is the hardest one I've done. But I think is if somebody else does it, I, a, you can do it too, you know. So let's try. I'm not a, I'm not a technician, but uh, but I uh, I try, you know. I try, I try my best. All right. So I'm removing this uh, this uh, two screws right here. Uh, they are black in color. So see you see I'm, that's why I'm separating them. I'm remove the screw in the back. Now I'm gonna have to remove this four, you know, that hold this uh, in place. So I'm gonna have to remove one, two three and four screws right here on this board so once i loosen up that those screws you see the front comes out this is the front i put it over here too and now this is gonna be moving much easily you know? hopefully yeah it should okay all right so let's see what's the next step i'm gonna have to go under the board now to okay let's see let's get in there get in there it's very limited movement here it's just it's amazing how these are great decks but the engineering the engineers thought that this was never need never needed to be repaired i don't know what the heck but this is this is hor horrible Okay, look like the next step is gonna be to remove a uh, to loosen up the front because I have to get to okay let me see so one two three four five six six screws I'm gonna have to remove in the, on this and then the next step is gonna be to remove one two three and four screws that hold the, the board in place let me see if I can get away by just but no removing the is I'm gonna I'm gonna remove the the ones on the board first. Those four. Let me see if I can get away uh, by not removing this. We'll see. Let's see. Let's see. Yeah, guys, I'm gonna have to remove those screws that I told you. So one a uh, two a uh, and then the the ones at the bottom. So I can move this uh, so I have more space. You know, so I have more space. This is what's holding the 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 front plate in place. You see. And that, that way, once it collapses, I won't have more space to move this. Uh, because look at this board. This is what's keeping me from getting the mechanism out. Even though I'm losing it up, I don't see it moving at all too much, to be honest with you. So, let's see. Let me see. Let me remove the more more screws. So, one. Uh, let's see how many, okay? Let me let me turn it around. Like I said before, I tell you. One, two, three, four, five six six total screws you see? that's a lot all right here we go so i'm gonna start using a different a uh, container you see i must start using the con another container because uh i got pretty much full this one so yeah i'm like i'm gonna make sure i keep everything in order you know so i'm gonna put this away prices so 
So look, uh, I'm gonna have to remove a. Uh, so one, two, three. Where's the other one? I have four. Yeah, four screws that I have to remove too. And then I'm gonna have to uh, loosen up this uh, two uh, plastic things right here on the back so I can I can move the 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 yeah, the, the board for us. Okay, one, two, three. Where's the fourth one? I know there's a fourth one hiding somewhere there. I'm gonna find it. No. Let me do that. Okay, so I found the fourth one. It was hiding the, right under this this cable. So one, two, three, four, and then remove these a uh, plastics right here, and then and that's gonna make this a uh, the RCA cables come out, you know, and then I'll be able to to maneuver better with the board, you know, move the board, collapse this forward, and I would have space to to get this uh, out of the way. Okay guys, so now I have to remove the, like I show you, uh, the, R the RCA uh, connections. You see you have those, these two plastics, the way you do it, just press those, uh, press on those, uh, press on them right there. And that way I can get it, uh, get get the, get them forward, you know, moving forward, okay? Let me do so I'm going to need a pair of these, you know, of these two, uh, to squeeze those uh, those uh, plastic uh, terminals uh, so I can get the screws uh, out of the way okay so let me do that you can see I have a lot of movement on the on the on the front now now I think I'll be able to get the make the, the cassette mechanism uh, out of the way uh, at least so I can have enough space to to remove the screws on the back and at the bottom I think it's like two and uh, four on the back and three at the bottom and then I can install the belt so let me see what's the next step so I have to remove this uh, uh, this button from here, and this is not the power button, but the next one over here. I think uh, okay, and I'm gonna put it over here so so I can have more freedom on the mechanism. You see? Look, like I'm gonna have to uh, loosen up this board right here, and I'm gonna have to loosen up these two extra screws over here, these two black ones. You see? Because that's gonna give me more space. This is uh, this is this is terrible. This is horrible. This is really. Poor design engineering. Poor, poor design engineering. In terms of the uh, uh, placement of the boards, you know they should have put them over here. Look, they should have put them, put this over here, so you have space on the mechanism. You know, it's just what the heck. Okay, I was able to kind of twist it like this, and this I don't have too much movement. The the the, the movement is completely restricted. It's it's ridiculous. So now look guys, I'm gonna have to remove these three screws. You see, one, two, three, and then I have a, a one, two, a, it look like a, a yeah, three screws that I have to remove a, so I can loosen this up and I can I can install the belt in there, okay? Let me let me do that right now, let me work on it. Okay guys, so uh, I'm a little slow in my progress because uh, the movement is very restricted on this thing, you know, I'm, I'm having a hard time moving it, all these wires are very, very, very tight, you know, it's just very little space uh, and I'm having trouble removing this, uh, these uh, two screws at the bottom, you see, uh, I was able to remove this one, it was hard, but I was able to do, now this uh, right here, I'm having a hard time doing it because uh, uh, I cannot push too hard on the board, you know, so uh, and it's and the and the screws are very tight. I put some WD-40. Hopefully, it will help uh, loosen them up a little bit. I even use heat too. You know, with my heat, with my heat uh, solder gone, uh, gone, uh, and uh, and it didn't help. So I put some WD-40 to see if that helps. It's rough. I'm stuck on the on my progress with because of that. But uh, yeah, yeah, this thing is very 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 hard to repair. I'll be honest with you. To change the belts, uh, it looked like the belts I got from Germany uh, from Reeboks. Uh, it's a guy, I guess his name is Re Rebox. Yeah, uh, they look like very good, high quality, so I won't be able to, to I won't have to fool with that crap anymore for a while. Okay. All right, guys, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try again to see if I can loosen up this, uh, these things, okay? Okay, I was able to remove that plate after some WD-40. It was rough, but I got it out. Now I have another problem. You see, guys, uh, this, uh, you see that little thing in the middle right there? 
you see that's I mean that's the difference between this one and the, the, the T3 the T3 I just have to kind of move this out of the way and I can I can squeeze the belt in in one hour easily you know but this thing is rough this thing is really really is giving me a hard time now I'm having another problem I'm gonna have to loosen up this one two and then three and four I'm gonna have to move this out of the way so I can put the belt in there because this little a uh, little thing in the middle is, is preventing me from me uh, from putting the belt in you know I got everything out out of the way I can put the belt in but they uh, I cannot a uh, uh, I cannot because of that little little uh, I don't know how you call that you know relay thing you know this thing right here that connects the the little arm right there let me see is there a way another way that I can put it in without removing that let me see let me check it out okay guys so look I was able to remove this the four screws and then the, you see a uh, that's the thing right there that came out and then this one goes right here and then I had to remove a pin that pin a uh, goes a uh, let me see if I can show you the light is getting a little bit light now it goes through here you see so this goes right here and that way I can put the I can insert the belt in there and then work my way through, through the cup stands and then to the motor you know whoa yeah this thing is rough I mean, hey, wow this thing is rough 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 my goodness good luck to whoever uh, repairs one of these but this is gonna have a real hard time doing this this is rough 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 okay hopefully i'll be able to squeeze the the belt in there and then uh, continue my uh, my progress Okay, so I was able to squeeze the belt in there, so I already have it in, and then I want to put them around the cups, and that thing gave me, this, this thing gives you, gives, it's going to give you a hard time right here. You see that little lever right there, yeah, the one, yeah, you're going to have to move that pin, you see that pin right there in the middle? You're going to have to push it down, it comes out very easily, you know? Uh, yeah, wow, this thing is, is serious. That's the only way I was going to be able to put it back by removing this, you know? It's pretty much impossible to re to remove it without this uh, being being off because a uh, because I mean what, to put a pin in there even like this you know it, it gave me a hard time so all right so let's see let's just work with everything now we got the belt in there and then uh, I'm gonna put this thing back together and I'm gonna put the belt around the capstans yeah, that should be easier that should be that shouldn't be too bad you know yeah, considering everything I've been I've been through you know I mean I've been I've been working on this for about two hours and a half now, three, two hours and a half, yeah, yeah, with the with the with the stock uh, the screws that I had, like I show you. I'm, I'm not gonna put it back, but I'm not gonna put it too tight like they. In case it, something goes wrong, you can always go back and, and repair it. Okay. Bye. Okay, now a uh, I'm gonna work on a uh, uh, I'm putting the belt inside uh, the capstans now since the the mechanism still still a uh, loose as you can see i haven't screwed anything so i'm gonna put a uh, the belt a uh, you see like on the t3 you just have to loosen up the screws right here and it's very easy to separate the the back of the uh, the and then just squeeze the the belt in like i'm doing right now so a uh, okay let me do this right now okay so i was able to put the belts uh, uh, inside the capstans now a uh, and then i'm gonna put a I'm gonna start uh, tightening these screws right here in the back. So I'm gonna do the reverse of what I did before. So I'm, everything's gonna start going back together now, okay? Okay, I'm putting everything back together uh, still. Uh, uh, yeah, I've been working uh, on this. Let me see. Uh, I've taken a couple of breaks. So it's about uh, 9.13. So I've been doing this for about four hours. For four hours, I'm putting everything back together to make see if it works. Okay, okay, guys, I've been working on this thing for about six hours now, putting everything back together. It took me a while to to get this uh, things right here. Let's see. So this working now, as you can see. You can see the meter working too, eh? Nice, nice. Yeah. I was able to fix it up, you know? So, great. Eh, yeah, it took me a long, long time. You know, I haven't finished yet. Look, and I've been, I've been working in it for about a, let me see. Yeah, for about a, with the breaks, about five hours and a half to six hours, you know? 
and I still haven't done been uh, finished. Uh, this is this is this is a lot of work, but uh, it's worth it because this is it, uh, at a high speed. The thing uh, really, really is really amazing, you know. Uh, I heard one from my friend uh, before, and uh, it was uh, I was really impressed by the sound quality. It's stunning, you know. Uh, okay, and then you see, I might have to. I still haven't changed the belt for the rewind and, and uh, reverse, you know. So. But that one should be much easier, you know. Let me see. You can see it's, it's not really. Yeah, it's either the the belt or the a uh, the uh, idler tire right there, as you can see. I need some more cleaning. Okay. All right, I'm gonna finish tomorrow. Eh? I gotta go to work tomorrow, so eh, I gotta go to sleep. So it's about 11:15 right now, 11:20. So. Okay, good night. We'll finish tomorrow and I'm gonna test it too. So I got it working, guys. Uh, yeah, everything's working fine so far. Uh, and then I'm gonna test it, you know. Uh, yeah, I got a tape is playing right there, as you can see. It's turning. Capstan. See the capstan turning right there. Everything looks good so far. It was it was a pain in the butt to, to do it, but uh, once it's done, uh, I'll be rewarded with high quality sound. You know. Okay. Okay. So a uh, so I was able to repair the a uh, fast forward. You see, and rewind. So a uh, you see you have to a uh, you have the main a. Uh, Idler tie right there in the middle, and then you have a uh, you even have rubber on the on the and on the spindles. You know the, the the area that moves the spindle. So I was able to clean it with like I always do with a some liquid sander. Look, some you want to use some, some swabs and liquid sander, and they and I clean the rubber. You know, and that's that's the way I make a everything a a on my cassette decks a. To get a better a uh, uh, traction and grip, you know. So and it, we're fine. So <coughs> now I'm gonna put everything back together, you know. So I'm putting everything back. As you can see, this one even has the the size of the belts. You see, and those are the size of the belts for the a uh, BIC T3 uh, T4. I'm sorry, BIC T4 a uh, M a uh, cassette deck. You know, double speed cassette deck. Uh, and this is the size of the belt in case in case a uh, you, you want to find them uh, by yourself uh, these are the size you see belts I guess this is for the uh, capstan and this is for the for the, the spindles you know to uh, rewind and reverse this one right here you see six three quarters by a uh, 1.5 millimeters a uh, yeah, the, the, the weight, you know, 6.7. So I don't know why it's at 6.7. Okay. Okay, guys, so uh, I was able to, to repair it. As you can see, it was, it was rough. It was very rough. Uh, it took me about a uh, seven hours, seven hours and fifteen minutes, more or less, total to to repair the, the belt, to change the belt. That was that was. This is the roughest. Uh, it, once I change the, the belts on this one, I feel like I can change the belts on any on any, any cassette deck. Even the even the I was a ADF a, a seven seventy or a nine nine seventy a. You know, because uh, uh, yeah, this has been the roughest. I mean, all all cassette decks, uh, 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 even the Nakamichi at the bottom is a little bit hard, but not too hard. You know, uh, yeah. But this one's the roughest I've, I've experienced. It was rough, but uh, at least I got it working. You know. Okay. Just wanted to. Uh, I'm gonna post the video on YouTube. Uh, so hopefully it will help uh, people uh, to change the bells on one of these uh, beast. It's beautiful. It sounds very good too. You know, I like the sound. I like the sound. It sounds very clear. A, uh, a, uh, 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 some of the areas of the videos uh, of the video I analyzed that they they're not that great because I was exhausted. You know, but I mean at least it, it will give you an idea on how to 
to to start. Yeah, just be ca be careful when you when you're moving everything around, uh, because uh, you can pull a wire. Once you pull a wire, it's it's gonna be hard because it has so many wires in there. You know something? I have to remove this plate, the plate that, that I show you that goes on top with the with the with the. Uh, with the size of the belt, uh, I had to remove it because uh, the, the cassette it wasn't playing. You know, when I was pressing it, it's like a, there's, there's kind of some kind of a misalignment here. You know, some somewhere. You know, so uh, so. I, but but once I removed it, the plate, you see, is is playing now. Yeah, yeah. So I had to remove the plate. I don't need the plate to be honest with you. It's just I don't know why they put it there to be honest. I don't know why, but there must be, there must be a reason. But I guess just to cover it. All right. All right, guys. I'm gonna test it now on high speed too. That's low speed. That's a, that's a, that's a factory cassette. Is it? Okay, I'm testing it on high speed now. You can see how fast it is. I mean, it sounds good too. This one also, you see, I have the T3, like I show you. A, this is the T4. It has the the pitch control too, so so you can control the speed. Okay, so. Right?